Okay, so without further ado, uh, let's kick things off. Uh, our first speaker is Si Ching Zhang, and he's going to tell us about non abelian host theorems in Care 60 and P. Okay, thank you for the introduction, and thank you for coming to my talk. <clears throat> so, this is a very brief uh, introduction to the non abelian host theorems, what they are about. Uh, so let me first uh, start with the characteristic zero part. So uh, let me just uh, work with a smooth projective connected curve over the complex numbers. And then the nebulin hard theorem is about uh, three diffeomorphic modular spaces, uh, quasi-projective. They are called the Dobon modular space, the Duran modular space, and the Betty modular space. So they each parameterize some uh, objects over the curve. For the Dobon model space, they parameterize the so-called Higgs bundles on the curve. So what is a Higgs bundle? It's a pair, uh, E and C, where E is a vector bundle, and C is a o OC linear uh, morphism from E to E tensor uh, omega C, the, the canonical shift of the curve. So this is uh, O linear, OC linear. And the Duran model space, they parameterize flat connections. So they are uh, given by a uh, same a vector bundle and then a flat connection. So a flat connection is also a, a morphism of this form, but it is not OC linear but only k linear and satisfy a, a Leibniz rule. And <clears throat> the Betty model space parameterizes the representations of the fundamental groups uh, of the fundamental group of the curve. Uh, in other words, the Betty model space parameterizes the local systems on the curve. And the nabilin hodge theorem uh, over the complex numbers uh, tells us that we have an R analytic uh, <clears throat> as a morphism between the double modern space and the Duran modern space, and the complex analytic isomorphism uh, between the Duran modern space and the Betty modern space. So the Dobo, Duran, and Betty are supposed to be the non abelian analog of the Dobo cohomology. The RAM cohomology and the Betty cohomology. Um, and um, actually, this part, the Duran and the Betty part, is uh, from a more classical uh, correspondence, the so called Riemann Hilbert correspondence, with uh, flat connections corresponding to local systems. Okay, so that's the, the statement of the theorem. And then I want to mention two useful. Uh, structures on, on the two structures that I really like. So the first one is the so-called Hodge model space. Okay, so we have a uh, one more model space. I know that's a lot, uh, but um, the Hodge model space is an interpola uh, interpolation between Dobo and the RAM. What does it parameterize? It par it parameterizes the so-called T connections. What is a T-connection? It satisfies a, the twisted version of the Leibniz rule. So like if F is just a function on the curve, and then I have a section a small e of the vector bundle capital E, then the uh, twisted Leibniz rule says uh, uh, this. So see if the T is zero, this is O linear, so you recover Higgs bundle. If T is one, uh, you recover the flat connections. So it's an interpolation between Dobo model space and the RAM model space. And uh, the fun thing is that this, this A1 family is uh, topologically trivial. This is the first structure. The second structure is the so-called Hitchin morphism. So that's a morphism out of the Dobo model space to the so-called Hitchin base. 
uh, which is an alpha space given by the sum uh, H0 of C omega C uh, tensor pi. So this morphism is given by the following. So you, you have a, a Higgs field on the vector bundle. It's kind of a twisted endomorphism. And this morphism sends the Higgs bundle to the coefficient of the characteristic polynomial of C. Okay. So that's how this is uh, defined. And uh, <clears throat> this is very rich. Uh, so this is actually a hypercalar uh, variety. And uh, this is a Lagrangian vibration. Oh, and uh, like one thing I didn't mention is that uh, this is so-called the uh, hypercalar rotation. The like the zero fiber corresponds to one complex structure, and the one fiber corresponds to another one. Okay, and like if you consider the so-called perverse Fourier uh, filtration on the cohomology for the Kitchen morphism, that's the p filtration in the uh, uh, p equals to w conjecture, not a zero. Okay, so that's the story over the complex numbers. Now let me go to the characteristic uh, p. Over the car over the characteristic p, we have a new gadget, the so-called p curvature. Given any t connection in the Hartmann space, you can define a p curvature, and In this way, I can add one more layer to the Hart A1 Hart family. So let me say this is for C, and let me, uh, I, I don't have time to explain, but C prime is the so-called Frobenius twist of the curve. It only exists in characteristic P. So in characteristic P, we have like one more layer. Like the, the whole Hodge modular space has a Hodge, the so called Hodge Kitchen morphism. Um, um, if you take uh, the zero fiber of the Hodge Kitchen morphism, you get a morphism that is not the Kitchen morphism on the nose, but universally homeomorphic to the Kitchen morphism. And uh, just uh, we can duplicate this topologically trivial uh, result in not on the nodes. Uh, what we can do is that if I assume so, there are runtime degree for the modular space. So if I assume the runtime degree is uh, co prime, then if I take the Derived push forward of the constant shift by the hot kitchen morphism, uh, we can prove that it is uh, trivial in the A1 family, trivial in the A1 direction. Okay, so that's uh, some analog to the first one. And then for the second one, it's, uh, it's very interesting. It's about this uh, the one modular space, uh, the 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 Hitchin morphism, uh, because so if you take the one fiber of the hard Hitchin morphism, <clears throat> you get a so-called the ram Hitchin morphism of C comes to the Hitchin base uh, for C prime the Frobenius twist, and then you also have the the one modular space for C prime. Over this, so how they related? Uh, it's a work by a lot of people, starting from Ogos Bologowski and then uh, Gorkinik and then Chen Zhu. That um, so this is on the mod whole modular stack level. We have uh, like one is a twisted version of another. So the P is the so-called symmetry of the Hitchin vibration. So an open part of this is a torsor under P, and H is another non-trivial torsor under P. 
So this is a twisted version of this on the whole modular stack. And then in, in our work with uh, Dika Caldo and uh, uh, Grokenik, uh, we can show that, well, this is a PR stack. You can take the neutral component and then there will be a corresponding neutral component on the torsor so that this isomorphism preserves semi-stability and it maps the degree D part to the degree DP part. Okay. And then we can deduce, if I call this the round heteromorphism and the heteromorphism, then we can deduce another isomorphism. So uh, the Durham Hitchin push forward QL as a morphic to the global uh, the the Hitchin. Same curve, same, same degree. But here it's for different curve and degree multiplied by P. So bootstrapping from those two uh, cohomology isomorphisms, we can deduce uh, some uh, uh, the so-called degree independence results, saying that the uh, cohomology of the modal space is uh, independent from the degree. Okay, and uh, let me just uh, mention one last application is um, let me run here. So if we really study what happens on the generators of the cohomology ring under the uh, isomorphisms one and two, uh, we can deduce that there is more structure on the cohomology ring of the Doban modal space over the complex number. <coughs> Let me write it. So there is more symmetry. There is a G GSP <coughs> this uh, H1 of C with the intersection pairing, when to take the GSP, to find that there is a natural action on the cohomology ring of the double minus space or the curve. Okay. So this is obtained by just uh, studying in detail what happens to the janitors of the cohomology ring under the uh, one, two isomorphisms. Uh, Yes, so that's my talk. Great, thank you. Uh, we have time for questions. Yeah, so this H, this H time the double modal space, is, is it, it actually some kind of sure functor is applied to that H1 and, and that's how I should think about this action? Uh, um, mm, no, but so so uh, if we just consider the SP, it's classical. It's given by you varying the curve in the modal space of curves, yeah. and then you get an SP action. And the, the GSP and SP differs by a GM, and that GM actually comes from the characteristic P. So actually, uh, um, you, you need to take all like infinitely many Ps to get the GM. What is D again? Uh, sorry, where? What is D? Uh, oh, sorry, D is the degree, degree of, of the, the, the vector bundle in the modal space. Sorry. Uh, so, yes. so on the Betty Moore space, there, there's also an action of the whole mapping class group. Are these somehow compatible? Uh, yeah, so, 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 so the SP vector comes from the mapping class group. Ah, but this axon of the mapping class group, C to the group, yeah, only does not see. No. Uh, so like, if monodromy gives an axon of the mapping class group, but it's kind of miraculous that only the group and which is the symplectic group is acting. Ah, right. Can you yeah. express it in terms of the group, yeah? Um, I'm, I'm not sure, yeah. What, what kind of stuff do you know about this? Like, does it, do you know like the dimension of the cobalt groups? Like what are, 
what what can you say about this? Uh, so like in 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 rank two, the janitors and the relations of the commodity rain is known by the work of uh, Hausmann and Thaddeus in the early two thousand. About uh, is so that it? in 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 general, like uh, the the relations are definitely known. I I can't remember exactly whether janitors. So is it a hard question? Like, what is the dimension of like H three in the Bendel C? I like uh, I I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in principle, it would be one result also when uh, we mentioned the uh, Um, that's uh, expected, uh, and uh, also um. Uh, Proven on the level of cohomology groups that um, it, the the degree independence results should be uh, like the the intersection cohomology groups are the same if the GCD are the same. Ah, yeah. Is it possible to also build some sort of interpolating space that also takes you over to the Betty side? Um, not I'm not aware. Of. So this uh, Hodge uh, modular stack is an interpolation. So it's a it's a family that one on one end you get to the the Dobal and the other end you go to the round, right? Right. Yeah. Do you need to like uh, restrict to some open subset? For example, on on the Hitchin stack, do you need to restrict to some uh, like like say stable or semi stable? Do you need to restrict to that or? Uh. So for <clears throat> like for for this and this, these are all for the semi-stable quasi-projective boundary space. Uh, but I, I mean, the like the GM equivalent family also exists on the uh, stack, the whole stack level. So, so you don't need to restrict. Is that what you, you, you do or you do? Uh, like uh, here, our, our results are for the semi-stable model like this. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, thank you very much.